what we're going to try to do today is replace the cable that works the uh, mechanism on a Mark V Volkswagen Golf. Uh, a bit of uh, suck it and see today. Should have replaced this when I replaced the actual mechanism. So the cable has broken at the footwell end. Uh, I've got a replacement cable and we're going to see how difficult it is. I've discovered that the, the cable actually runs inside the engine compartment here then disappears down behind probably in the wheel arch somewhere so I'm going to have to investigate right, this is the uh, replacement cable um, that looks a bit familiar rather similar to this piece under here so what I guess is that the uh, there's this this cable comes in two parts there's the short part which goes to the actual hood catch and there's the long part which disappears down behind the wheel arch and un through to the footwell so I would guess that inside this rubber thing there is where the two parts join so this is our replacement cable which cost is about 30 pounds believe it or not anyway We'll investigate further. Right, so this end of the cable is the piece that's going to go down to the footwell. And this end of the cable is going to connect it just here behind the left, uh, be behind the headlight, um, into that uh, connection. Uh, union there so we're going next thing we're going to do is separate this connector and then see if we can pull this cable all the way through to the footwell could be quite interesting right so we've got that open you can see that uh, that's the uh, blob end of the top part of the hood catch cable. This is the new replacement uh, cable. You can see this um, housing there for the uh, end, that, that um, metal end to go into that round slot there. Right. Now this is the footwell end of the hood release cable which I've distorted because I've yanked it through with a pair of pliers. What I'm wondering is if we connect the new cable in the hood area in the engine compartment whether we can pull that cable all the way through by yanking on this and we'll be able to pull the entire cable right through. Just need to figure that out. Right, so here's the old cable, uh, which I've detached from the uh, ca the metal pull. And here's the new cable, which we're going to um, somehow get in behind the wheel arch and into the footwell. Now, I'm wondering if we could chop this off here, cut this off where my finger is, and attach the the blob end onto there with masses of uh, say um, insulation tape and pull the whole thing right the way through so that we don't have to actually take the wheel arch to bits so I might use the pliers and cut through there fix it that the new end onto it and drag it through. Now this sort of corrugated plastic stuff, I'm not quite sure what job it does, probably to save uh, chafing I would think. I'm not absolutely certain we will end up leaving that on because this is an old car and I don't think it's going to go a massive amount more time. We've got 175,000 miles on the clock, but we'll see. Okay. 
I think we're going to use the pliers and cut through here. Right, we've dealt with that. No idea if this is going to work, but as you guys know, this channel, we don't really do rehearsals, we just do it live and you get to see everything that goes wrong as well. Rather than use um, the uh, insulating tape, I've actually found a way to wind the uh, part of the metal around the blob end of the new cable, which seems quite secure, famous last words. So I'm going to now have a go at tugging this right through into the footwell. Right, well that idea didn't work, so uh, we've had to go to plan B, which is remove the uh, wheel arch lining, get these torque screws undone, so that we can get access to that cable. Now, I did give it a massive pull and it just would not come through, so I'm not sure if there's some more attachment somewhere or just the fact that it has that extra corrugated lining means it just won't tug through. It's probably been in there a very long time as well. So we're going to get this um, inner lining off which should reveal everything that we need to see. Right, the wheel arch is coming out. Obviously anybody who knows me knows that this car spends half its life driving around muddy fields so there was considerable amount of mud and crap in this arch but um, that's why we want a Volkswagen TDI a beast of a machine so this is coming out I've probably still got another screw to undo somewhere right there we are There's 10 screws holding that in place. Ooh, look at all the garbage in the back of here. Amazing. Okay, let's hope we can actually find our cable now we've got this far. Right, well I'll be quite honest, I don't think that's helped very much because the cable runs up inside here. In this cavity in the structure of the vehicle. So I'm not sure that's actually revealed anything. Um, because what, what can you do with getting your finger up inside there? That seems to be a waste of time to me. And so what I'm going to try and do now is pull... See if I can pull this through from the other side. Uh, I've attached a piece of uh, twin and earth lighting cable. 1.5 lighting electrical cable obviously if you want to use power cable a bit more heavier duty that will suffice just as well so I'm now going to pull from the engine compartment and see if I can pull this lot through because what I'm anxious to do is not lose the route that the cable takes so here we go I took the precaution of going inside and having a sandwich and uh, come back and had another go at this and I finally managed to pull this this is the old cable and attached to it here all bound up with the tape is the new cable so that is in its right position now but I don't mind telling you guys that is a truly miserable job try to feed that through there and I've done plenty of miserable jobs in my time. Now this is how the mechanism looks when you put it back together. It's taken me uh, quite a while to figure this out. Now, okay, that may be because I'm stupid, but having only seen the broken end of the cable here, it wasn't obvious how that all went back together. So it was only by taking the actual handle assembly off the side of the car in the footwell that I was able to see how that actually all goes back together. Right guys, just before the battery dies we've um, put the handle mechanism back together 
probably heard that unlocking the uh, bonnet. So I'd have to say this has been a difficult day. Um, I'm not sure that uh, taking the lining out of underneath the wheel is any use to you. That didn't achieve much. Um, and the bonnet, well, this locking mechanism uh, was a bit complicated because I couldn't figure out how the cable goes and it, and attaches. There's some several bits on YouTube, but different configurations. Anyway, guys, I would say this is a difficult job. It's been, it's not been a happy occasion to be honest. But we've got it done now. Like all these DIY things, you have to persevere and stick to your task. Don't cave in, uh, and you you'll get there, and you have then you've achieved something. So. If I've helped anybody, well, good luck. And uh, perhaps you'd like to subscribe and um, see some more DIY attempts at fixing uh, cars and other things. Thanks for watching. Bye.